Hey guys, so for your first flight of the Meteor 85 combos, what we're gonna do is we're gonna not use the goggles. We're gonna take the drone, have the radio on, always have your radio on first. Then we're gonna put the battery in about halfway in the drone. Then you're gonna plug in your battery. And I like to put the battery on the side like that. And what it does is it kind of keeps everything out of the way. And you get a nice flat surface there. All right, so first flight for the drone, before you put the goggles on, the reason we're doing that is to learn how the drone's gonna perform. So you'll get an idea of how sensitive the sticks are because depending on it, how much you've flown before, it could be a totally different experience for you. So first thing we're gonna do is pre-arm, arm, get it flying. Throttle's gonna be down. I'm gonna be in low rate. Right mode angle. Right mode angle. Angle mode. High rate, low rate. Low rate. And then we're not doing turtle mode. We're not doing buzzer because we're gonna be able to fly it. So throttle's gonna be down. Pre-arm. Pre arm you'll see the prop spinning there so now we are ready to test hover so we're going to take it pointing away from us take it up in the air and i like to get about a foot two feet off the ground with these little ones uh, if you fly really low to the ground say you're like this close see it's kind of drifting that's because the wind from the props are pushing it so when you get about two feet up or so typically my gate set now this drone will not hover in place and that's one thing to keep in mind you are controlling this it does keep its attitude, but it won't maintain altitude or GPS position because it doesn't have those sensors. So once you get used to it, so I'm learning the throttle, I can't understand. And keep in mind, hovering this thing, half throttle is gonna be climbing. So you're gonna be below half throttle to hover. So got our first flight in just to make sure um, if it's, if you're finding it difficult or hard to control at that point, don't do the goggles yet. Maybe charge up the battery, do another one, get used to it. It's kind of like the learning an old school helicopter or the traditional helicopters, um, learning your sensitivity of your sticks. So once you learn how the radio feels in relation to how the drone controls, then move on to the goggles once you feel comfortable with that.